Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about uh, the CMOS inverter delays. In the previous discussion, I have explained the NMOS inverter delays calculation and the delay time. Okay. So here we have uh, that is CMOS inverter delay. If two CMOS inverters are connected or cascaded, so what is the inverter delay or the total delay? And at the same time, what is the CMOS inverter delay? Okay, that is rise time and fall time of uh, the CMOS inverter delay. We are going to calculate in this class. Okay, so here first consider that uh, CMOS inverter delay, that is CMOS inverter pair delay. So here what I am doing is two inverters of CMOS are connected or cascaded. Okay, and if I connect these two inverters I1 and I2, so what is the delay I will get uh, at the output? Okay, that is that means what how much time that will take so, to transfer this V in to the uh, V out, that is output from input to the output. So that is nothing but the delay. Okay, so here uh, I have inverter one and inverter two, that is those are cascaded, and here I have this uh, Capacitance is 2 square cc. For N mass inverter, we have considered 1 square cc, but here we have 2 square cc because in this, uh, if you consider this diagram here, this one is the first inverter 1, and first inverter 1 consists of pull up transistor as P mass and pull down transistor as N mass. Okay, so for both pull up transistor and pull down transistors, we are giving or uh, we are applying the input. That is at the gate of uh, P mass and at the same time gate of N mass. Okay, so here this will be the capacitance uh, of P mass is uh, one square cz and uh, the capacitance of uh, N mass is uh, uh, another square cz. So both will be combinedly will have two square cz here and here. Okay, I have represented. So this is the diagram for inverter one and this one is the diagram for this one is the diagram for inverter 2. Okay, C mass means it is a combination of P mass and N mass circuits, N mass transistors. Okay, so these two are connected like this. So the same diagram inverter 1 and inverter 2 circuit diagrams I am replaced with the symbols. Okay, so that's why here we have like this. Okay, now uh, we will see what is the delay provided by this uh, inverters if you connect cascade okay so first i will consider v in is equal to zero what happened so v in is equal to zero this one is the p mass and this one is the n mass transistor okay so if v in is equal to zero input is zero so pull up one will on and pull down one will off Okay, so if Vn is equal to 0, this pull up one that is P mass will be on condition and pull down transistor will be goes into the off condition. Okay, so, so what happened? Okay, so that this will be off condition means, so this uh, capacitor that is a 2 square cg capacitor will charge through the pull up transistor. Okay, so the capacitor charges to VDD through pull up resistance, pull up resistance. Okay, so the capacitor will charges through pull up resistance, pull up one resistance, and it is uh, charged to fully. To the VDD. Okay. So in the second case, if I apply that V in is equal to VDD, if V in is equal to VDD, so what happened? V in is equal to VDD. This P mass will be goes into the off condition, and this N mass will be goes into the on condition. Okay. So if V in is equal to VDD, the P mass that is pull up one will off and 
pull down one that is n mass will on so this will be off condition and this will be on condition then what happened here the current will flows to the ground okay that means what will on therefore therefore the capacitor discharges discharges through the capacitor discharges through pull down resistance okay so pull down resistance that is zpd pull down resistance that is zpd so then what is the delay here okay so if uh, tau 1 is the time taken by capacitor to discharge capacitor to discharge therefore tau 1 is equal to tau 1 is equal to how we can calculate this tau 1 is equal to the resistance multiply with the capacitance okay that is nothing but resistance here is zpd multiply with the 2 square cz so what is the total capacitance here 2 square cz okay so this equation i am taking as equation number 1 okay so if the discharge is done like this if the discharge is done like this so what is the voltage that is applied to full up and pull down okay so if capacitor discharges capacitor discharges from vdd to zero vdd to zero vdd to zero the voltage applied at this point suppose it is considered as the p okay the voltage applied at point p is zero is zero that is that is at the gates of pull up to and pull down to the voltage applied is zero okay that is at the gates gates of pull up to comma pull down to is pull down to voltage is zero okay so if it is zero what happen here pull up to and pull down to voltage is will be zero so therefore what happen here therefore therefore pull up to will on and pull down to will off pull down to will be off okay so if it is on right if it is it is on and it is off means so the capacitor will be charges the capacitor will charges through the pull up resistance okay will off if pd2 off and pu2 on the capacitor will charges charges through charges through what that is pull up resistance charges through pull up to resistance okay so therefore the delay tau 2 is equal to tau 2 time that is the charging time tau 2 is equal to charging time is equal to what that is uh, here the capacitor charges through the pull up resistance so it is zpu multiplied with the 2 square cz that pu multiply with the 2 square cg right so therefore the total delay the total 
delay due to the cascading of inverter 1 and inverter 2 delay tau d due to cascading of inverter delay 1 cascading of inverter 1 comma 2 is tau d is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 tau d is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 here I am taking this equation as equation number 2 ok so tau d is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 so what is tau 1 tau d is equal to zpd multiply with 2 square cz plus this one is what that is zpu zpu multiply with the 2 square cz ok so here we will consider that uh, zpd i am taking as ZPD I am taking as RP that is the resistance of uh, pull down transistor as sorry here RN that is pull down transistor is for that is N mass transistor I am taking that one as ZPD is equal to RN and I am taking that uh, 10 kilo ohms ok the sheet resistance is 10 kilo ohms and ZPU here is equal to RP. ZPU means pull up transistor. Okay. So that for that pull up transistor or the PMAS sheet resistance is RP is equal to it is 25 kilo ohms. It is 25 kilo ohms. Okay. So these are the values here. RN comma RP are the sheet resistance values resistance values for resistance values for what for n mass and p mass in 5 micrometer technology 5 micrometer technology okay so here i will find out the ratio of rp by rn so therefore Rp by Rn is equal to it is 25 kilo ohms by 10 kilo ohms you will get it is 2.5 ok kilo ohms and kilo ohms will cancel and you will get 2.5 therefore Rp is equal to here that is 2.5 into Rn ok 2.5 into Rn so now I will substitute uh, this one in this equation so therefore the total delay tau d is equal to so zpd means what zpd is equal to rn rn multiply with 2 square cz plus rp zpu is what rp multiply with the 2 square cz ok so here rp is equal to 2.5 rn i will substitute that is rn 2 square cz plus rp is 2.5 multiply with 2 square cz ok so what you will get here it is if i take the common square cz and rn you will get here 2 plus it is 2.5 into 2 that is 5 multiply with rn into square cz ok so here tau d is equal to 2.5 rn into square cz but the sheet resistance rn is equal rn is equal to here rs ok so therefore tau d is equal to 2 plus 5 that is 7 rn means rs into square cz that is equal to what what is this value that is sheet resistance multiply with the the square cz is nothing but uh, the tau ok so therefore it is what tau that is equal to 7 tau ok so the total delay in the paired cmos inverters is 7 tau ok so therefore 
द टोटल डिले डिले ड्यू टू पेरिंग ऑफ ड्यू टू पेयर ऑफ टू सीमास इन्वर्टर्स इज इन्वर्टर्स इज इट इज सेवन थाउ इट इज सेवन थाउ सो आउट ऑफ दिस सेवन थाउ how much amount the p mass will provide and how much amount the n mass will provide okay so here phi tau delay is due to p mass and 2 tau delay is is due to n mass okay so the total delay due to the pair of two two c mass inverters is 7 tau and here phi tau delay is due to the uh, p mass transistor and uh, two tau delay is due to the n mass transistors okay so this is about uh, how we can calculate the delay for a c mass inverter cascaded with uh, another c mass inverter okay thank you thank you for watching subscribe our channel